This shit is fun. She made me rekindle when we think back when I first started comedy. The first day of comedy. Y'all you know, anybody here do comedy other than the guys on stage? Nobody? Y'all don't know how rough this shit is. This shit is rough. We back there nervous as hell. We be in the alley doing boxing moves and shit and <laughs> passing gas, all kind of stuff. <laughs> My first night on stage, y'all back there doing boxing moves. A comic saw me like, hey man, what you doing? You nervous? What you nervous for? This shit is easy. I've been doing this shit for like nine, ten days. <laughs> I got it down packed. Come inside and watch me. Come inside and watch me do my thing. I went inside and watched him. He got on stage and bombed. He ain't only bombed, he bombed and started crying. I ain't never seen a comic do that shit before. I guess one of those punchlines didn't work out, but I'm like, yeah! Then the father came home from work. I said her father came home from work. You know what, well, fuck y'all, man. <laughs> Shit worked yesterday. <laughs> why y'all don't like me, man? Like, why are you crying like a comic I like? I like, I always get, you know, I always get stereotyped to be the stereotypical comedian. You know what I'm talking about, the stereotypical comedian? You know, all you talk about is that black people and white people, you know, black guys doing white people, black people jokes. You know, that's cool if you do it, but I don't do that. But I can. Matter of fact, I'll do it right now. They come out with attitude. What's up, y'all? What's up? See, I'm about to tell y'all the difference between white people and black people. Now, white people are lighter than black people. Look at me, you can tell. White people do stuff black people just don't do. Like, buy gas. White people buy gas different than black people. You ever seen them? They go to gas. Give me 25 on one. Ta-ta. <laughs> what do black people do? We go to the counter. Give me some gas, bitch. That's what black people do. <laughs> hey, black people do stuff. Black, white people do stuff. Black people just do. Like, drink their own piss. <laughs> black people don't drink their own piss. Pee is too salty for black people. I like this audience. Y'all laugh a little bit. <laughs> y'all do. I heard y'all outside. That shit, that's cool. You go to comedy shows, people just don't laugh sometimes. I don't understand that. Why you come to a comedy show and don't laugh? <laughs> that's like going to an orgy and not want to fuck nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, welcome to the orgy. Got three girls in the back. I don't want that shit. <laughs> Give me some water. Okay, so. <laughs> I said I got three girls in the back and I said I want some water. <laughs> Get drunk tonight. Get fucking drunk. <laughs> Fellas, get drunk and go home and call up women you don't like no more. Fuck that. <laughs> That's what I used to do on Friday. Shit, I'd be cussing their ass out. Hello? What's happening? Well, fuck you too. <laughs> you ain't shit. Before I got the phone, give me a call and get this message. Click. That's what I do on my Fridays. That's what I did on my Fridays. I am a ridiculous. This Chicago, I'm from Chicago, so I'm ridiculous like sports fans, like ridiculous. You know what I mean? We stand by our teams regardless of what. The Bulls don't have to win shit. I would think they can win every game. They can get the ass kicked every game. I would think they have a chance. They can be down by 46 points with three seconds left, and I would still think they can win. Three, two, one, and God damn, they lost. They could have won that shit, man. All they had to do is shoot that 47 pointer. Fuck comedy. I'm done, man. Tonight's it. This is my farewell show. Ever. I'm gonna go back to Chicago and be a pimp. <laughs> Pimps are cool, man. Fuck that. You know what I mean? I like 21 years old. I saw a pimp do something I ain't never seen nobody do before. Pimps got this power called subliminal. You know what that is? You hearing something over and over, but you really don't think you're hearing it? I saw a pimp do this shit. He came in his bar, he saw me like, hey man, what's up, youngster? See that chick at the end of the bar? I'm about to pull her ass with the power of the subliminal. He like, hey, baby, you can't live without me. Want a drink, can't live without me. Hey, two rums of coach, you can't live without me. He did that for 20 minutes. <laughs> Next thing you know, she was in the car with him driving down the street. 
And I was right behind him. I felt like I couldn't live without a meter, you know? I was standing on the corner with a dress on for two days before I realized I had made a mistake. Like, that motherfucker good, he got me in dress. 